Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the United States President on the occasion of his inauguration as President. His Majesty wished President Biden health and success and the U.S. further progress and prosperity. His Majesty expressed pride in the deep-rooted ties that connect the two countries and people for over 120 years on the basis of friendship and mutual respect. He affirmed his constant keenness to further deepen the bilateral ties in the interests of the two countries in all fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the United States, Joe Biden, on his inauguration, wishing him good health, happiness and success in performing his presidential duties leading the American people to achieve further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted the long-standing historic ties and close partnerships spanning 120 years between Bahrain and the United States, supported by strong friendship and a mutual respect. His Royal Highness looked for Forward to further consolidating the strategic relationship and bolstering joint cooperation with coordination, serving the interests of the two allies and their people across all fields. His Royal Highness the Conference also sent a similar cable of congratulations to Vice President Kamala Harris on her inauguration. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Speaker of the Council of Representatives Fawzia Zainal at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed the importance of building on the Kingdom's comprehensive development achievements led by His Majesty the King through advancing joint work between the executive and legislative authorities in order to continue to serve Bahraini citizens across all development plans, programs and projects. On this note, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince asserted that Bahraini citizens lie at the heart of all development efforts and the Kingdom will continue these endeavors with determination and vigor and through the collective efforts of the members of the executive and legislative authorities. For her part, the Speaker of the Council of Representatives expresses thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for his keenness to promote joint work and positive cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities in support of the Kingdom's comprehensive development process. Upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the third relief and medical supply shipment was delivered to Serbia to counter the repercussions of the coronavirus. This initiative stems from His Majesty's keenness on bolstering humanitarian bonds and providing aid to all the countries of the world. On this occasion, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind gesture, particularly in light of the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. In his speech, His Highness conveyed the greetings of His Majesty. King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to Serbia and its people, expressing their appreciation to frontline and humanitarian workers for their courage and commitment to combating the virus. Firstly, allow me to convey the warm greetings and good wishes of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and those of His Royal Highness. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain. I would also like to pay tribute on His Majesty's and His Royal Highness's behalf and my own to all the frontline and humanitarian workers for their extraordinary efforts in response to the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. We salute their courage, passion and commitment. Today, we are honored to deliver the third relief shipment of medical supplies to Belgrade to help our dear friends with mission critical needs in this time of disaster. We are proud of these efforts, which stem from His Majesty's generous teachings and our deep-rooted tradition and customs, as well as the teachings of our Islamic religion. And we are deeply committed to continuing to support our friends as we collectively battle this global pandemic. Today, we are honored that our commitment to the Serbian people and the bilateral ties that bind our two nations are fortified. I strongly believe 
that through strengthening ties and international cooperation among friends and allies, we are more prepared and better equipped to deploy a concerted, collective effort to overcome these challenging times. We remain steadfast in our pledge to expand cooperation and look forward to growing the ties between our two countries. In closing, please accept my best wishes for health and continued progress and prosperity for the people of Serbia. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the President of the Bahrain Weightlifting Federation, Mohammed Abdul Latif bin Jalal at Al Wadi Palace in the presence of the Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed Hassan Al Nusuf. His Highness praised the efforts of the Bahrain Weightlifting Federation as it carries out various development plans to increase the level of sport performance in the kingdom in order to enable Bahrain to achieve further success in the sports field. During the meeting, His Highness reviewed the preparations of the national weightlifting team to participate in the Olympic Games in Tokyo in June of 2021. He expressed his pride in the level to which weightlifting sports has reached in the kingdom as it reflects in the results of the competitions in which it had participated. His Highness remembered the historic achievements in Brazil in 2016 when Bahrain won a gold medal and where the runner Ruth won first place in the 3,000 meter hurdle race for women and looked forward to further their achievements on the regional and international levels. For his part, the president of the Bahrain Weightlifting Federation expressed his thanks and appreciation for the support of His Highness for sports in the kingdom and weightlifting particularly, and looked forward to further successes. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also received the President of the Bahrain Basketball Federation, Walid Al Alawi. His Highness welcomed the President of the Federation and praised the efforts of the Federation in further developing the sports in the kingdom. His Highness was briefed by the President of the Bahrain Basketball Federation on the plans to further promote the sport and to improve performance in order to achieve further successes at the level of national team across all competitions. The President of the Federation praised His Highness's support for the sports sector and affirmed his keenness on further improving the state of Bahraini basketball in order to to achieve further success. The Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa launched 20 new e-services that are the second series of e-services by the Interior Ministry as part of a comprehensive electronic transformation plan to reinforce precautionary measures against the coronavirus. The new e-services were launched in the presence of the Chief of Public Security Interior Ministry Under Secretary of Nationality Passports and Residence Affairs, Chief Executive of the Information and E-Government Authority and General Director of Traffic. The Interior Minister affirmed that the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to invest in modern technology in all sectors includes effective digital transfer trans transformation. He valued the follow up of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to achieve the digital transformation plan with competency. He said that the digital transformation has so far covered 104 services, asserting that these facilities are part of the government de dedication to promote national efforts against the coronavirus, especially ensuring social distancing and reducing the need for personal attendance or visiting services center. He expressed his thanks and appreciation to all the ministry's directorates involved in the launch of the services, stressing the importance of increasing awareness among all segments of society on the benefits of these services that replace the need for personal attendance and visits to service centers. All citizens and residents can benefit from the Interior Ministry's services through the national portal Bahrain.bh or through visiting the e-government app store. Store. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs organized a workshop titled Rights of the Vulnerable Held Remotely. The Minister of Foreign Affairs praised the support the Kingdom provides to vulnerable categories, namely children, people with disabilities and the elderly, adding that these groups receive the attention of His Majesty the King. He underscored the keenness to provide the necessary health, educational and cultural care to them as they are essential components of the human capital. He stated that the government has focused on providing a sustainable environment to protect the rights of children, people with disabilities and the elderly through a system of legislations, programs, policies and developmental projects. 
For his part, the Minister of Labor and Social Development reviewed the kingdom's most prominent efforts to maintain the rights of the vulnerable in the National Plan for Human Rights. He highlighted the kingdom's success in creating a comprehensive social protection system to protect all the categories of society. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs stated that the rights of valuable groups or vulnerable groups are considered a priority in the kingdom thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King. He underscored the ministry's keenness on building strategic partnerships with various groups to support children, people with disabilities and the elderly to provide initiatives that advance their rights in the field of sports. The Assistant Minister of Foreign Affairs emphasized that the kingdom maintains the rights of vulnerable groups as many mechanisms and committees have been established such as the National Committee, the High Committee to Support People with Disabilities and the National Committee for the Elderly. The Ministry of Health said that the total number of individuals vaccinated as of Wednesday, the 20th of January, stands at 144,130. The Ministry renewed its call that the vaccines are a safe and effective way of protecting individuals, their families and the community as a whole. The national vaccination campaign continues across the kingdom to implement the government's proactive plans to confront the coronavirus pandemic. The Ministry of Health indicated that electronic channels are available for for registration for those wishing to take the vaccine, whether they are citizens or residents who have reached the age of 18 and above. Individuals can choose the health center and the type of vaccine they want to take, noting that the vaccines approved in the Kingdom of Bahrain are safe and effective and are provided free of charge for everyone. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases has reached 2,967 with 303 recoveries and 313 registered new cases and three deaths. 119 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 190 are contacts of active cases and four are travel related. The deceased were 81, 85 and 58 year old citizens. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.